Okay, I think I'm live. Um, I guess I'll know better when you start signing in. But um, this is Anna Raimondi, and I am very happy to be with you tonight. I am looking forward to teaching you how to set your intentions and how to manifest your dreams in 2018. Before we start with that, I just want to let you know that 2018 is a master year. So in numerology, it is the a year of 11. So if you add up the, the numerals, and I'm not a, um, a numerologist, um, you will come to the number 11. From a, a spiritual standpoint, the number of 11 is the highest number in spirituality. So many of you may be seeing um, 11s here and there. They're blessings, they're, they're awakenings, and this is an awakening year. So um, for many of you, I hope for all of you, this will be a year to awaken to your dreams, awaken to your spirituality, awaken your heart, um, to get your kind of mojo going um, within your life, in your spiritual path as well. So at the beginning of the year, many people set resolutions, and the resolutions are usually things like, I'm going to exercise. They're things of motion, okay? I'm going to exercise this year. I'm going to be kinder to myself, and they're all wonderful. Um, but without the specifics, sometimes they're hard to follow, and we set ourselves up for failure in a lot of times because they're too hard to keep. Every year you make the same, you know, the same resolution. I'm going to exercise more this year. This year, more than any other year. So one day to the next, all of a sudden there's going to be a change in you. Um, a better thing to do is to um, set your year with affirmations. So I sent out a, um, an email blurb a couple of weeks ago about what affirmations are good to use in 2018. If you did not receive that, then um, I would suggest that you sign up for my newsletter at adoramonday.com. I think you just click email list or newsletter or something. It's probably email list. And when I send out those things, you will receive it. I've been sending out more and more inspirational things lately because I really want to be able to affect you, not only in my verbal words, but in the things that I can send to everybody through writing. And this is, this is free, so why not, you know, tap in and let the words kind of help you on your path. But in, in setting your goals and setting your dreams for 2018, anything goes. You can dream anything you want. A rule of thumb. If you can see it, it can be. It can be. If you can see it, it's going to be harder for you to get there. So daydreaming is absolutely wonderful, whether it's at the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, even the end of the year. Um, it's really good for you to set your intentions out with your own visualizations. So your own, you're coming up with your own ideas in your head and seeing them. Imagination. Your imagination is a part of your soul. Okay, there are things that you can see that maybe I can see that you can imagine that I can imagine. It's unique to us. So, you know, start daydreaming a little bit. It doesn't mean that you're going to be zoned out in a zombie most of your day, but you know, when you have free time and you're just hanging around, it's kind of nice to, you know, to daydream and let that move you into a meditation where you can see more and hear more. Also, um, in setting intentions, you have to put it out to the universe. So, I may say this year, I want to have my own television show or want to, you know, something like that. I want to be on Netflix. Okay, that's that's my intention for this year. I want to be. It sounds like a good intention, um, but that's my that's my intention for this year. Um, and so I'm going to put it out there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say it. I want to be on Netflix this year. I want to have my own show on Netflix, and I'm going to put it out there. And I'm going to say, Wow, I want to do this because I can touch more people. More people who can see and hear me. I have a bigger platform for bringing God through and bringing Mary through and bringing Spirit through and helping the world heal. So I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to say it. And I'm going to ask God or the higher power or whatever it is that you personally believe in to walk with me through this process, to open the doors for me. And I'm going to be grateful before it even happens. Thank you, God, that I see myself on this show that's doing wonderful and so many people are being helped by it. I'm going to put that out there. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to dream about it. I'm going to daydream about it. So I'm going to put it out in daydream. I might write it. I might write a story about how this is going to happen. Um, that's another way of putting out an intention. Another great way of putting our intentions out are to make a vision board. So here's a vision board that I probably made a couple of years ago. And all you have to do to make a vision board is to get a piece of poster board. So I 
So you see this, um, this is probably, it looks like maybe an eight by 12. So you get an eight by 12 piece of um, poster board. Don't make it too big because then you don't have to fill it too much. And the important things can just fit on something that size. And um, if you see, I put a dove in the middle because dove to me represents spirit. So I guess I wanted to move further into my spirituality. Now, where did I get these from? Magazines, any magazine. Um, it could be, you know, um, National Geographic. It could be, you know, whatever magazines are, are out there. You know, um, any of the Condé Nast magazines, the Girlie magazines, the car magazines, whatever it is that you have around the house. And what you do is you just kind of flip through the magazine and when you see something that makes sense for you, for what you want in the coming year, you cut it out. Um, and some of these I cut out um, with kind of fancy scissors, um, just because I probably had them around and couldn't find the regular scissors, to be honest with you, and because I'm horrible at cutting anything. Um, and some of them I, I, I didn't, I cut out with regular scissors. Um, you don't need any special scissors, you don't need any special glue, you don't need any special magazines. Do not go through the magazine specifically looking for something. Let the universe bring it to you. So on this particular one, I said joy, I wanted joy. Um, I wanted to move into my uniqueness and to be genuine. Um, I, want, I wanted amazing experiences. I, want, um, I wanted to believe beyond belief. I wanted fireworks. I wanted stars. To me, that's heaven. So I wanted heaven to come through more. I wanted happy times. I wanted to enjoy life. I wanted love. I have a photograph of a heart, so I wanted love. I'm hoping that I'm showing this to you. Um, I wanted to be able to dream my dreams. Um, I said hit it big for whatever that meant for that particular year. You know, this was before I wrote the book, so that wasn't even a thought in my head. I wanted courage. Um, I wanted to, um, this looks like travel. I wanted to travel some more. Um, and then what I did was um, I took this and um, in my case, I put it in my office. And so every day I would come into my office and I would look at it and I would watch things as they began to come true. It's pretty amazing how that happens. But in the meantime, I was meditating, I was putting out my intentions and I was also walking through the door, the doors um, that the angels and God and the universe was putting in front of me so that I could realize all these things that I wanted to manifest. You know, sometimes people think, well, I just want it to come to me. If I'm going to put out an intention or I'm going to make a vision board, then it should wind up at my front door. You know what? Miracles happen. It could happen. You know, I had Simon and Schuster wind up at my front door, you know, um, but, you know, I was not asking specifically for a book. I was asking to follow what Mary wanted me to do. And so that happened. That, to me, that's a miracle, okay? The postman could bring you something, and that could be the step of a miracle. The internet could bring you something. You can get an email from someone, or, or you know, you read a post on Facebook or something like that. You know, that can get you into the place. But for the most part, you need to be in motion. Um, things happen when you're in motion, whether it's physical motion, emotional motion, energetic motion, mental motion. It's mind, body, and spirit, okay? So, you know, we are very complex machines. We work in many different ways. We work with our soul, we work with our mind, um, we work with our body. Okay, in all ways. So, you know, the door opens and you need to go somewhere. So you need to put it into physical motion to maybe meet somebody to make that dream come through, true. You need to be physically in shape to do that. So you gotta take care of yourself. Emotionally, you have to be in a good place to do that. You have to say, yeah, you know what? I am worthy for this. I want this. This can happen. It's a belief system, so that moves into your spiritual side. I believe this can happen. I believe that I am worthy for this in, in all different ways and that God is propelling me in this direction. That's how things will happen in your life. That's how your miracles will happen. I, you know, I live that way. That's my life. You know, my life is imperfect and not everything that happens is, is wonderful, but I can say at this point in my life, a good 95% of what is happening in my life is pretty wonderful. It wasn't always like that, you know? And I'm not waiting for some shoe to drop because I believe, I believe that I am doing 
I am on my, my soul's journey. I'm doing the work that I'm supposed to work and I give it up to God. I work in partnership. My intentions are in partnership with God. Now that doesn't mean that you may, you may want your dream car, okay? Um, it's materialistic, yes, but if that's something that will be joy to your life um, or get you to places you need to be, it's okay. As long as you're not worshiping that car. As long as that car is just something that fulfills a need in you, um, it will it will not um, it will not make you totally happy because it can it's 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 a machine. Um, but if that's something that you want, sure. If you need more money in your life, sure. Intend more money in your life. It's okay. God wants us to be in abundance. He wants us to be able to take care of us. He wants us to be um, free as best we can to not only be happy individuals but happy souls and happy enough to be able to come to heaven and to talk to heaven because we're, we're exuberant in our life, in our lives. That's really important. Um, before I go on, I want to see if there are any questions. So I have to scroll through this list. Oh, good, Madeline. I think you'll really like making a vision board. It's a really, not only that, it's a really fun thing to do because it kind of brings you back to being a child you know, and cutting and pasting. Don't make, don't make it complicated. You don't have to make it complicated. Keep things simple. We always tend to complicate the things that should be so, so simple. Keep it simple. This is cutting and pasting. And your intention and your dreams, they're from your heart and soul. Keep it simple. Don't say, well, I can't dream this, because if I dream this, then I can't dream that. But don't put any constraints on it. Just dream. Let everything work itself out. We're really, we're not in control of everything, okay? We're only in control of some of the things. So, you know, and even then it's not too much. Just put it out there and let the universe take care of bringing you what you want. But again, you need to be in motion as it happens. Okay, I'm still going down here to see if there's any questions. Uh, you know, you shouldn't have any problems making the vision board. Okay, some of you are doing it tonight. That's a great girls' night out thing to do. Um, you know, get together with your friends, you know, and just make it, you know, have a cut and paste and, um, vision boarding party. It, it's a really fun thing to do. When I used to teach, um, I used to teach vision boarding and intentions at, you know, like the first week of every year. Unfortunately, I, I'd rather do it this way now. I can reach more of you. But um, it was fun. It was really fun. Um, the conversations were fun. You know, the things that you were looking for or the things that you found, not looking for, don't look for them, um, in magazines that hit you about what you wanted um, was perfect. It opened you up and then the meditation was great too. So um, at the end of this, I will do a meditation to open you up to, um, to what, what you want this year, you know, what your intentions are. Okay, let me keep going here. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Sandy. How do you make a vision board when you're depressed? Well, when you're depressed, um, you know, depending on what the depression is, if you're clinically depressed, then you need to be talking to a therapist because you're probably not very motivated and it's hard to get motivated because it's hard to get motivated even in, situa even in situational depression. But if you're depressed, Start looking at these magazines and say, you know what? I can get out of this place that I'm in. And I need to get out of this place that I'm in. And so I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to cut and paste. I'm going to put out there on this vision board what I want for my year, for my future. And every year I'm going to do this. Maybe every six months you do this. Um, that's how you do it when you're depressed. You know, um, keep in mind, we have to help ourselves. You know, we can go to therapists and doctors and, and follow or, and read all the self-help books. But when it comes time to the real help, it's our responsibility to help ourselves. And so little things like that, like making something like this, that probably took me, I don't know, an hour, maybe less. 
um, is something that is easy to do. And then you dream about this. Like you start looking at this and you know, um, you dream about new, I wrote discover. I wanted new discoveries. I wanted to find new things that year. You know, I'm going to discover different things this year. So I start daydreaming about the things that I'm discouraging. I, I, um, I'm sorry, that I am intending. Okay. That I'm dreaming about, you know, and the same way, you know, as I'm dreaming about it, I'm putting out my intention. So I want to discover new friends, say, or I want to discover um, a new way of bringing happiness into my life. You know, you start to expand on the words that you put out there. You know, you know, people can look at one glass of water, like, you know, you look at this and people can say, oh, that's three quarters full. And somebody else can look at it and say, no, it's like, it's getting empty. It's draining. It's a way, it's perspective. You know, so it's up to you to change your perspective, but let your intentions, let your manifestations, let the vision board bring you in that direction. Okay. Okay, you have to write in full sentences and if you want me to answer these. Um, I like to lose weight. How to put this on my vision board. Okay, first of all, why do you want to lose weight? Do you want to lose weight because you don't love yourself? Do you want to lose weight because you feel down in the dumps? Um, so you write on your vision board, joy, okay? You might post a scale, okay? You might put a heart. You might put something that says love myself, okay? Um, you might put um, how many pounds you want to lose. So say you're doing this every three months or every six months. You might write how many pounds you want to lose. But get down to the bottom of why do you want to lose weight? What's it all about? Uh, why are you unhappy with the weight you're at now? Um, you know, and I don't want to hear, well, because, you know, this is not how a, uh, a woman is supposed to look. A woman is supposed to weigh X amount of pounds. That's ridiculous. Why do you want to weigh that? Why do you want to weigh that weight? What, what is it about? Um, you can say, well, I have no clothes. I gained so much weight, I have no clothes. So you know what? You start posting clothes on your vision board. Maybe clothes you have. Because you can find you can find photographs of everything in magazines. You know, stuff like that. You know, um, you can turn it around for any manifestation of what you want in your life. And then you start, you start dreaming about, you know, the slimmer you, okay? The you that you want to see, you know, um, in whatever way. And the changes will begin because you will start doing it. And you know, when you set out intentions and you when you're manifesting through dreams, it's not a one-time deal. Like, you have to do it. Um, I would suggest to do it, you know, at, at the very least every other day, if you can do it every day. It, and then meditate with it. Sit. Sit with it. You know, sit with that vision you have in your mind. Or sit with some of the words from the vision board. And let them come deep into your soul so that your higher self, your soul, can also help you on this journey. It's a way of inviting your soul in. Okay. You're very welcome, Lisa, and she's in my prayers. Um, I don't know what this means. How do you do it? Um, you just cut and paste. Um, okay, so this one is saying, and thank you, Maureen, for posting this, and I'm so happy for you. Um, my whole board was about meeting my one true love, and I did. We're getting married in October. Yay! We should all cheer for her. Okay, she, she came from a bad situation. She moved herself into a good situation. She manifested it. It was on her vision board and it happened, okay? Because um, she believed it. She believed it could happen, okay? She believed that that one true love was out there for her and she put it on the vision board in whatever way, you know, whether she put the word love, whether she wrote my, my one true love, whatever she did. Happiness, a big smile that was surrounding that. And she got it because she believed it. So her intentions were being put out there in a way that said, I believe that I can have what I'm asking for. I believe what I can have, what I'm claiming. Claim it. So you look at the vision board. And so um, looking at my vision board, um, I have on here, um, capture the moment. So I was claiming that I was going to capture every moment, not go through life in routine. You know, not just, you know, wake up, have breakfast, see some clients, come back in, have lunch. I was going to capture the moment. I was going to be more present with myself and the people that, was with, that are with me. Um, you know, that's easier said than done when you have a very busy life. Um, but I did it. 
I did it, um, but I did it with in cahoots with heaven because I knew that I was being supported and that I could do this. That it was a part of my own soul growth. Okay, but again, this Maureen, you know, she manifested a love. Well, why not? The universe is all about love, so why not? You know, that kind of stuff um, absolutely can happen. All right, let me see. Let me keep moving. Once you move your ideas and intentions into the physical, it has been manifested. It, it has become a reality, okay? Um, but in manifesting it, um, you, are setting, you are setting out your, um, your dreams and your intention, wanting them to be manifested into reality. So the goal here is to make it reality. But before it becomes reality, you have to put it out there. In, in whatever way you can, I think the vision board is a very good and easy way to do it. But I also think speaking to the universe and setting it out is a very good and easy way to do it. Um, I do both. So um, I, all I can say is, but and I also, I know, like, I've said this all the time on these Facebook Lives, I surrender to God, okay? I say to God, I'm going to partner with you, and so let's get this going. You know, Mary is always with me, as most of you know, especially if you read my book, Conversations with Mary. You know, she's with us. You know, whatever you believe in, you know, um, that's what you need to, to pull into these intentions so that you're not alone in doing this. It's not just about you saying, okay, well, I need to do this, so how, how am I going to... Um, make these dreams come true. Of course, you can think those ways, and you should think those ways because you have a mind, as I said, mind, body, and spirit. Um, but you should also set it out and so that things are, doors are open for you. There's different ways of getting, and you're supported from the universe as well. Again, I'm gonna, and I repeat this and repeat this, if you can see it, it can be. Daydream. Daydream is really, really, really important. Okay. Well, welcome, Kelly. This is your first time watching. I try to do these once a week, but I can't always do it. Yes. Um, so Eileen is saying she's gone to going some health issues. And um, how do I put my intention on a vision board to be healthy with no more challenges or health issues? Put that on your vision board. Um, no issues. No health issues, healthiness, somebody running, somebody jumping, um, somebody playing, okay? Um, you know, this is not scientifically proven, um, but it all, but it, what it does is it changes um, your energy field, okay? Um, so do it, put it on your vision board and, and see yourself running and jumping and playing and healthy, you know, and doing the things you like to do. You know, there's a stories and stories and stories, you know, about people healing, you know, because of what they put out to the universe, okay? Um, you know, there's, there's no, I, I can't tell you you're going to be cured. You know, I wish I could. Um, and I can't, I can't do that, and I'm not a doctor. I can only tell you this. I've heard stories about, you know, people being diagnosed and then saying, no, I don't want this. This is my intention. This is what I'm putting out there. And, and wonderful things have happened. Um, but, you know, um, you, have to, you have to do the work around that, and you have to believe. And that's the really hard part, is when you're going through some really, you know, difficult times in your life, to believe that there can be change. Believe. Believe it can be changed. Believe it. Um, and then watch things happen. Um, so Carrie actually is a cancer survivor, and she did a vision board. Um, so I don't know if you did it, Carrie, when you had cancer um, or after you did cancer. So I would like to hear if you can just type in, and I'm sure I'll get to it in a minute, um, where, um, you know, what, what you did and how you did it. Oh, Sandy, thank you. For praying um, for Eileen. If everybody would just kind of close their eyes for this moment. Um, let's just say a silent prayer for Eileen. She's going through a rough time with cancer um, and other things going on in her body. So let's just ask God to please put his healing touch and love on her and surrounding her as we all send her love and peace and, and healing and happiness. Unfortunately, when we're sick, we have to be forced um, to live to live, not exist, in each moment of our day, and sometimes that difficult, that, that's difficult, but, you know, walk hand in hand um, with God and, and live your life. Live your life. Live as though you're healthy, even though you're not. And I know I'm saying something that is very difficult, um, but it's, it's important for you. You don't want to lose moments. 
Okay. Um, okay, so this is what Carrie did. So this is a great idea for you to do, Eileen, and anybody else who's ill. Um, she put clippings of, um, of boxes I don't know what she means by that. Oh, boxers. Okay, that boxers, I'm sorry, of her beating cancer. Um, also, all about positive things. Um, you know, she wasn't going down without a fight. And she, she put that on, um, that she put that on her vision board. And she's been in remission for um, about, um, for about seven years. Um, she's offering, Eileen, if you want to speak to her, to um, find, I don't know, reach out to her or give her your Facebook page name or I guess just click on her name. I guess you can just click on her name. You know, I don't know this technical talk. Um, and then you can reach out to her and she can help you. She's a really good woman. Drinking water is very important. Okay. Um, especially, for the, especially not only for your health, but um, for the woman who's wanting to lose weight, drink a lot of water. Um, let's see. Yes, Eileen, be proactive, you know, be in your, in your happy place with this. You know what? And you can, um, the cancer is part of you, but not part of you. Um, you know, in, embrace it and then say, I'm ready to let you go. I'm ready to let you go. I don't need you anymore. Don't need you anymore. I learned whatever lessons I had to learn. So now to the live and see it leaving your body. Lois, a lot of people had a bad year last year. Um, a lot of people. You know, I happen to have had a really good year last year, but I'm one of the very few, so I don't even tell anybody that I had a good year last year because I feel badly. Everybody has such a bad year. This is gone because this is um, a number 11 year. This is a year of blessings, of opening up soul, of opening up heart, of awakening to um, the divine within, as well as you know the divinity and everybody else. This is a year of raising consciousness and vibration. So let last year behind. It's goodbye to 2017. We're in a new year and a better year. And let's get this going on a really good foot. You know, and so when you make your vision board, put things that are happy there. Don't put anything about 2017. Don't put anything negative on your vision board. It all has to be positive of what you want, not what you've been through, not what you had. Okay. Um, hi to Mary, who's in um, Houston. Um, so Carrie is saying that she built the vision board when she, um, when she was ill, but every day after the cancer, um, she looked to it to make her strong. Okay. So that, that's an example of somebody who has an illness and who's making a vision board. But what if you just, you know, you just want, you want your family to be safe. You want to be safe. Maybe you're going back to work and you're looking for a job, you know, um, you know, my vision board doesn't have anything like, um, Carrie's hat on it because I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't ill, um, in any way. Um, you know, and here's my human side. I wanted a little fanciness. I wrote Chanel. Okay. I don't know if I wanted perfume or what I wanted. I think that just stood for, I wanted, I wanted a little bit more fanciness in my life. You know, that's what I wanted th that year. Um, you know, you can put anything on it. Um, ev I wrote everything you want to tell the world, your lips will say. So that was me saying, I needed to speak my truth. I needed to stand up and say, this is what it's about. Um, and this is what I need to do in my life to help me and to help you, okay? So that's what was that about. I put a picture of somebody exercising. Uh, this is like <laughs> the intention I have every year. Um, well, actually, when I used to make resolution, my resolution was always, I'm going to exercise this year. Anybody who knows me knows that hasn't quite happened. Um, I also put enjoy life. You know, I wanted to enjoy life. Maybe it was a year that, you know, I was just super busy and not enjoying life. Um, I can tell you all of this came true. Okay. Every bit of it. You know, um, I look at this except for, um, and not so much the exercising, um, but I am in shape. Okay. So I got myself back into shape. So, you know, all of this um, has happened, you know, find new roads. I have found a lot of new roads. And again, this was not made last year. This was made you know, two, three years ago. I don't even know how long ago. But um, when I found this in my closet, um, I pulled it out. I don't know where the one I made last year is. I had it. And then as things came true, I, I guess I put, I put it away. 
Oh, I'm glad Elena had a good year in 2017. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, so I guess um, I'm, I hope that you understand um, what I'm saying, how I'm saying it. Um, but again, this is threefold. You have to um, set the intention. So what you do is you say what your intentions are. You might even write them down and then take them one at a time and start day day daydreaming about it. Okay. So say you're say this. You really you really need a new car. Your car is broken. You really need a new car. And so you're daydreaming about this wonderful new car you have. It doesn't need to be a Mercedes Benz. It could be anything. You know, um, whatever, it could be a Kia. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, and anything in between. You know, but you need a means to get around. And so you see it. You see it. I can tell you, I did a vision board with somebody years ago. And um, she didn't have any money at the time. And she really wanted a good car that was going to last her a long time. And she, you know, um, she wanted a BMW. And, you know, I remember her putting it on her vision board and me thinking, I don't know how she's going to make that happen. But I was wrong. I shouldn't have even thought that. She got it. She absolutely got it. You know, um, she believed it. Believed with all her heart that she was going to get it. You know, um, I worked with somebody else who had an intention of meeting a new man in her life. And she didn't do it through a vision board. Um, she conjured him in her mind. And she met him. She met him. She put it out there and she said, this is what I want. This is what I need to be happy. And it happened. She did it all the time. She kept putting it out there all the time and speaking to it. You know, so, you know, do all these things in, you know, in, in congruence with each other. You know, you can do, you know, whatever way you want it, whatever way you're comfortable with. Um, but in meditation, daydreaming, writing the intentions, writing these stories around the intention. What will you do if that happens? Or seeing, what will you do if that happens? What will you do if you sell your house and you move to North Carolina? How will your life be? See it. See it. Post it on your vision board. Post a picture of the state of South Carolina on here. Post, you know, a picture of your house, maybe, um, you know, with a, a sign underneath it saying, you know, there's lots of real estate ads um, sold, you know, something like that. You will find what you need within these magazines and they will, them going through the magazines will also awaken you to what it is that you do want. Okay. Okay, so I like what this person wrote um, when it comes to cancer. She wrote, um, that means a lot to me, toodaloo to cancer. I learned what I needed and now you're gone. I would never have left my husband if I did not have cancer. It was like God made me a vision board. I needed to survive and I would never have the courage to leave a severely depressed man if I didn't think it was a matter of life and death. You know, um, things happen for a reason, okay? I don't, I don't know this woman's story. I don't know your story, um, Jennifer. Um, and, you know, it, it doesn't matter. But what she's saying is it came in for a reason, and then she said goodbye and was able to change her life. Maybe she was in, um, she was a severely depressed man that maybe um, was abusive, okay, that she couldn't let go of. Um, and so it gave her the courage to move on because, you know, you need a lot of courage to go through cancer. Okay, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to walk you through a meditation to help you manifest. So, if you could all please close your eyes and take a deep, deep, deep breath in. And as you breathe in, recognize that you're breathing in all that is good, all that is right, all that is perfect in the universe. And as you breathe out, breathe out all pain, all animosity, all self-recrimination, or stress, or anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you. And breathe in that pure, wonderful breath and breathe out all that stuff that doesn't serve you. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel your lungs inflating and deflating, almost like waves on a beach. Your breath is going in and out and in and out. And you begin to feel more and more relaxed. And you allow your body to relax, and your shoulders to relax, and your mind to relax. And you say to yourself, this year, 
for me. I want. And you fill in the blank. And you repeat it. This year, for me, I want. And you fill in the blank. This year, for me, I desire. And you fill in the blank. Now I would like you to imagine that this is a reality. You see yourself getting what you so desire. You feel the excitement as you're able to witness this movie in your mind of what it is and what it will do for you. How it will bring you into your future. You see yourself walking on a beautiful beach. You hear the waves going in and out and in and out and in and out. And you come to a movie projector with a movie screen in front of it. And you flick on the projector and you put on the sound. And you sit in the sand and on that screen is projected your desires for 2018. It's no longer in your head, it's on the screen. And you watch it. And you feel it. So take some time right now to watch and feel and be present with your desires. Know that this screen exists for you. You can always conjure the screen in your mind. The screen exists for you to know that what you desire can be. Okay, you can open your eyes. So that was just a brief meditation. You can make that meditation or those thoughts, I started out with more of you setting intentions and then walked, walked you into a very brief meditation. Most of that meditation is in silent, where you just sit and you watch the screen. And then when you come out of the meditation, you should write down what you saw, how you saw it, and how you felt. It's up to you to put this out there for you. It, it's, it's a wonderful thing to do, and when it happens, Stand in gratitude, because these are our miracles. Miracles don't have to be huge miracles. We don't have to move mountains. It's the mountain inside ourselves that's more important to move and means more. Okay, so before I go, let's see if anybody else has anything left to say. Yeah, Renny. Um, this it's a great jumping off point um again it's just it's a just a brief example of how you can start and what and what you can do you know it's also a good thing if, if you have children you know to have them make vision boards with you you can make it a family thing you know um only because it's fun it's a really fun thing to do and it's a fun thing to introduce spirituality um and the power of intention you know into into your family a really nice thing, especially with, um, you know, preteens. Okay, well, thank you all for joining me tonight. I hope and pray that all your dreams come true in 2018. So good night, God bless, have a good rest of your week.